the great hallmarks of the early Christian communities. And St. Paul would remind his communities time and time again that it would be by their charity, their profound respect for others, their love, that they would become known, that they would be recognized. Not for the greatness of their, their buildings, not for their good deeds, their charity would be their lasting mark. The peace for which Christ prayed is not something, the same kind of peace we should say that, that is made known to us in the secular world, in the secular culture. It's not just an absence of fighting or an absence of the Holy Spirit. Left to our own devices, in other words, the Christian life is really not possible. It is not. It's not possible to do as Jesus did, quote unquote, to quote St. John, simply by willing it. It's not an act of the will. I say this because of our own, we cannot do as Jesus did and embrace all that he did. In particular, his cross. The cross is the way in which Jesus honored the Father's will. It was by laying down his life on the wood of a tree that God, Jesus, most perfectly expressed his love for his heavenly Father and his love for us poor sinners who stand daily in need of his redemption. As people of faith, as present-day disciples, the manner in which we are to live has been made manifest in the life and the dying and the rising of Jesus. But all three of those phases, the life, the dying, and the rising. It is this mystery that every individual and every community of faith is to engage and live out. And to the extent that we live out those aspects of the mystery of Christ, to that extent are we strong. To that extent are we vibrant as people of faith. It is this mystery of Christ's life-giving cross that every parish strives to mirror. It's this mystery into which we are baptized and which we celebrate at each Eucharist. It's the same mystery to which parish families introduce one generation after the next, namely the great Christian mystery of dying and rising in imitation of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father Shacheco, I thank you for your invitation today. And as administrator of St. Catherine's, I rejoice with you and your parishioners uh, upon uh, the many blessings that the Lord has bestowed upon this community over a half century. We pray him today to continue to pour out his many blessings in the years to come. And so, again, uh, happy anniversary to you as you mark this 50th. May the good Lord, uh, in his mercy, in his mercy and in his charity, in his love, continue to show you and your families um, his continued uh, mercy. God.